Okay, so I have been eating these chips and salsa for literally 30 minutes, just like sitting here, eating them, not filming. My food is definitely cold. My God, is it me? Or do they have the best chips and salsa? at Chili's. That's right folks, today we are doing another mukbang style video. You guys seem to really, really enjoy the last one where we talked about a bunch of YouTube drama and we've got some updates today, folks. There are so many things we need to revisit because so much has happened since then. By the way, I'm wearing my Aquarius shirt from Label. How cute are these? <laughs> Natalia designed these and they are adorable. Then when I go check them out, I'll link them below. Oh my God, I'm trying a new seltzer flavor today. This is one of the Mikalov Ultra ones. Mikalov Ultra is like a beer that people drink. I don't know, I don't really drink beer. I'm a seltzer kind of gal, and this is organic peach, no. This is peach pear. <laughs> I really like their spicy pineapple one, although it's not spicy at all, but I like their, <laughs> I like it. Let's see what peach pear tastes like. It's very peachy. I don't taste the pear at all. Oh no, it, mm -hmm. a little bit. It's, I like it. I definitely like a uh, spicy pineapple more though. Okay, so I ordered food from Chili's because I wasn't gonna do Buffalo Wild Wings again. But honestly, it's not my fault because I don't have anything good near me. I just have a bunch of chains. And not that many. Not that many. I don't live in the most populated area of Miami, so that sucks for me. But I do love me some Chili's. I got their chips and salsa, of course. And then I also got these like um, bloomin' onion kind of thing. I don't know why I got this. I really just wanted to try it because you know, I try not to eat fried foods, but I use these kinds of videos as my excuse. It's not bad. It's no outback, <laughs> you know. Okay, so besides that, I don't know why I got this. I guess just so that I can show you how much I hate this. But I got the fried pickles from Chili's. We all know that Buffalo Wild Wings has the best fried pickles in the in entire world, but I just had to like try again. Maybe they've changed them, I'm not sure. Awful. Terrible, oh my god. No one knew about the wallets. Although I do love pickles. So that's pretty good anyway. <laughs> I can eat pickles straight out of the jar. Fried pickles, old pickles. I'm obsessed with olives, pickles, banana peppers, all that stuff. I also fuck hard with mustard too, if anyone's wondering. And I love pineapples on pizza. But mainly I got um, one of their burgers. This is their black bean patty burger. And then I just threw a bunch of crap in the burger. Like jalapenos, of course. <laughs> Avocados, tomatoes, mustard. This is gonna be such a mission to eat. I'm gonna look like, oh no, I hate eating burgers in front of people. <gasps> and there's so many of you. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever been to Fuddruckers? It's like a burger restaurant. And I feel like they, they only sell burgers there. Well, I think they sell salads too, but it's a burger place. And one time I went there on a first date and I wanted to die. I was like, oh, where do you wanna go, Fuddruckers? <laughs> Any burgers? I was so nervous because I literally eat like an animal. Like, I am not attractive when I'm eating. I was like, are you sure you don't wanna go like, um, eat sushi? <laughs> but anyway, where do I begin? So, as I'm sure you guys have all heard, Austin McBroom is getting sued by everyone and their mother. Allegedly. Have you guys been keeping up with that? It's gnarly. It's getting crazy. Remember how I was telling you guys that social gloves was the company that was throwing this event, that was like hosting this event, right? And then it turns out that Austin McBroom is kind of like involved in Social Gloves. He's like one of the owners. Well, Social Gloves was like hosting this event with like some other company and the other company was supposed to be the one like paying people out. I'm not sure, something like that. They're suing Austin McBroom. Austin McBroom. So now it's like, oh my God, I don't think anybody is ever gonna get paid at all. I mean, I know I said that last time, but I was like, well, you know what? Maybe Austin is gonna have to like pay out of pocket and like pay these people back. I mean, the man's got a lot of money, right? He can do it. But now I'm not so sure. This man is like literally drowning in lawsuits at this point. Everyone is suing him. I think all the TikTokers that didn't get paid for the fight are suing him. That's word on the street anyway. And with that other company, I mean, who even knows? There is a rumor going around that he paid the YouTubers though. Like the YouTubers involved in the fight? Supposedly, because they haven't been vocal about not getting paid and all the people talking about not getting paid are TikTokers, but I don't know. Something tells me he didn't pay anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> don't look at me. I should have cut this burger in half. It is not cute. I'm seriously dying to see where this ends up. Can't end up anywhere good for the McBroom family, gotta be honest. Dude, that's a lot of legal fees. Can you, this thing looks so disgusting, but can you imagine? Like, oh my God. I mean, hopefully this is a lesson for Austin McBroom, honestly, that, um, hey, listen, turns out your shit does smell. 
like everybody else. And you know what? I wonder if that's why Catherine McBroom is starting her own YouTube channel as well. As well. Although, you know what? The other day, when him and Catherine were talking about her starting her own channel, I felt like Austin was being a little shady towards her. And I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it because I am Austin McBroom's number one hater, but... I don't know, I felt like it was a little shady. If I can find the clip, I'm gonna insert it right here. You just have so much more going on now that you're able to like have a channel. I yeah. feel like to even start a channel, you have to have stuff going on. You just can't like say, yeah. I'm gonna wake up today and start a YouTube channel and not know what to do. Yeah. Basically he was like, yeah, before there was no point in you doing another channel because like, you're not very interesting and there's nothing going on in your life, so like, what's the point? That's pretty much what he said. And Catherine's just sitting there like, yeah. Like I wonder if in the back of her head she's like, what the fuck are you trying to say? <laughs> Dude, that's so fucked up to say, like, what? What do you mean she has nothing going on in her life? What if she just wants to talk about things she's passionate about? Her interests, like- Who are you, Austin? God! <clears throat> aggravates me. But anyway, so there's that. And it is uh, still a developing story, so we shall see how many lawsuits Austin gets. Oh my god. I wanted to talk to you guys about Ethan and Trisha. I have so much to say. I have so much to say. So, I've mentioned before that I am a huge Ethan and Ida fan. Like, I consider myself a foot soldier, not gonna lie. I watch every single episode. I love their podcast. I love them. So naturally, I don't like Keemstar. I don't think there's anybody on this planet that does like Keemstar. Keemstar's a f Keemstar's an asshole. And even before Ethan, I've hated Keemstar because of my friend Jesse. He's the he's been the fucking worst to my friend Jess. To Jesse? Je fucking Jesse smiles. He's garbage. <laughs> and like all jokes aside, I truly believe he's like not a good person. Like I really don't think he's a good guy at all. I mean, again, that's just my opinion. I don't know the guy, but he comes off um like a terrible human. But anyway, Ethan and Keemstar have had a long history of hating each other. They've gone back and forth for years now. You guys should really watch. I don't even know if it's still up actually, but Ethan uploaded a video about him called like ultimate nuclear war bomb or something. I don't know. What, I don't know what it's called. It pretty much outlines uh, what a horrible person Keemstar is. And honestly, he doesn't even talk about all of it. There's so much that that asshole has done. That's online. You can see it. Like. He's not a nice guy. And so whatever, they've always hated each other. And Trisha Paytas knows this. Trisha Paytas has even said multiple, multiple, multiple times that even they can't stand Keemstar. I mean, we've all seen the Frenemies episodes. We, we, we know how they both feel about Keemstar. And just yesterday, I mean, I don't know what day I'm uploading this video, but dude, just yesterday, Trisha went on the Mom's Basement podcast, guys. Which I think that's the name of it. I don't know. I don't watch trash podcasts, but I think that's what it's called. It's basically the podcast with Keemstar and Faze Blanks. <laughs> I'm going to post Ethan's TikTok right here so you can see it. But dude, when I saw this, my jaw literally dropped. I think there are two things that really piss me off in this picture. One is the fact that fucking Trisha's wearing the frenemies merch. That was definitely done on purpose. And then the fact that Keemstar is, is throwing up his middle finger, it's obviously a fuck you to Ethan because look at the freaking smile on his face. Like this is 100% a screw you Ethan pose. And listen, I heard what Trisha had to say about the whole situation and I'm not gonna lie. Valid points are made. Podcasts are about open discussions and Trisha did go on the H3 podcast after Ethan said really, 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 really terrible things about her. So I get it. I know that Trisha is the type of person that will come from people and talk to people that they've had issues with in the past. I know that about Trisha. Like, Trisha went on freaking um, Gabby Hanna's podcast. And everybody was like, what the hell was that about? Like, even me, I was like, what? Like, that was wild to see. Like, we know Trisha is like this. So at the end of the day, I wasn't necessarily like shocked and completely like, oh my God, but it was, it was weird to see because it's Keemstar. It's someone who has been so fucking vile towards Ethan's wife, Ela, that to me, that crosses the line. Simply because Trisha is about to be married to Moses, okay? Moses is Ela's brother. Like, Trisha is part of the family. No matter what, no matter what issues they have online, at the end of the day, they're family. Family is family. So, I get that Trisha is like that. I get it. But I think that Keemstar is where you should draw the line because of just like that history. Like, for example, if Trisha freaking wanted to go on the Logan Paul podcast, even though Impulsive is an enemy of the show, 
That's fine. I don't think Ethan would care about that because, you know, of course, like I said, that's how Trisha is. But don't you guys agree that, like, the Keemstar one was drawing the line? I get where Trisha's coming from, like I said. No one has even seen the podcast, so everyone is jumping to conclusions. I will give Trisha that 100%. I agree. Maybe Trisha was eating Keemstar alive the entire time. They were having a discussion. No one really knows. But I think at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The fact that you collabed with him and went on his podcast in general is enough for me to be like, that's crossing the line a little bit, I think, because of the engagement to Moses. For example, if frenemies went to shit and all of this happened and they stopped being friends, Trisha and Ethan, and Moses wasn't a thing, like if Trisha wasn't engaged to Moses and frenemies ended, whatever. <laughs> Who gives a shit if Trisha is on Keemstar's podcast? Like, you guys are not friends anymore. Like, this is who Trisha is. It is what it is. But it's affecting family. It really does affect their family. And I don't think Trisha realizes that. I think that seeing Trisha on the Dumbass Basement podcast, whatever it's called, I think Hila seeing Trisha there hurt her feelings. I think if I'm Hila, that really, really hurts my feelings. Fucking Keemstar called Hila a horse. Told Ethan that his wife looked like a horse. What asshole man says that shit? Keep so. He's just a scumbag. I'm not gonna lie, he scares me though. I don't wanna say too much about him. Scares me, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. And then, of course, in true Taurus fashion, because Trisha Paytas is a Taurus, they will never apologize. God forgot. If you get a, if you get an I'm sorry from a Taurus, oh my god, they must have really fucked up because <laughs> they don't apologize. All right? And they're always right. And I'm not gonna lie, Tauruses. You guys are usually right about a lot of things. You guys think very logically. I love y'all, but oh my God. You're not always right, all right? There are times where you guys make mistakes as well, okay? Trisha just went on like 87 rants on Snapchat. No, on TikTok. And doesn't acknowledge that going on that podcast was probably not the best idea. It was a little bit, a little bit, of, a little bit of a slap in the face, I would say. The way I see it, I feel like Ethan sees it this way. Like, hey, no matter what issues we've had, no matter what this online drama is, Keemstar has like really hurt me, like actually hurt me in like many ways. And so I feel like it's like, I know we're not friends anymore, but we were once friends, right? Like you, we once cared about each other. I wouldn't freaking go hang out with my ex best friend's enemy, you know? I don't know. I've always said I really wish that they can work things out, Trisha and Ethan, and I still do. I, I really do for the sake of their family. But I don't know, man. I don't know. They filmed a final Frenemies episode. Okay, I do, I have to defend Trisha. For a second. They did film a final Frenemies episode and they, ne and they never aired it. And Trisha feels that they never aired it because it made Ethan look bad. And I think that that might be true. I think that might be true. I think the last episode that they didn't put up doesn't make Ethan look the best. And that's why they decided not to post it. That's my conspiracy. Like that's just what I think. I think that Trisha might be right about that. Listen, I love Ethan to death. Like I said, I'm a foot soldier. I love them. But Ethan likes views. Ethan likes to do things for views. And I really think that Ethan would upload a shit show if he meant getting a lot of views. <laughs> I really think he would. Because you know what? In that last episode that we saw as an audience, the last Frenemies episode, where Trisha's like, hey, I wanna cut this, like cut this. I want this to stop, please. And Ethan doesn't cut it. Ethan's just like, okay, get off, leave. Walk off the thing. She's like, no, I, wanna, I don't wanna storm off. I want you to cut it and then we end it here. I personally think he should've been like, okay, Dan, Cut it. I don't think he should have been like, oh, just go then, leave. I feel like that was just making the situation worse. Like, I think Trisha asked, like, hey, no, let's cut it here. Ethan should have been like, okay, let's cut it here. So I do think that Ethan has done some things throughout this whole process that I don't agree with, but I obviously think that Trisha's just really taking things far. So, yeah. I don't know, man. That's just how I'm feeling right now. Again, I just wanted to talk about that because I know we spoke about Frenemies ending in my last mukbang, my last episode, the first episode. And so I thought I needed to update you guys because it is also still a developing story. I'm worried about it, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm scared. Trisha also scares me. Keemstar and Trisha scare me, equally. No, I'm kidding, not equally. Keemstar scares me a lot more. And you know what? Imagine if Ethan invited David Dobrik on the podcast. What reaction do you think We'd get out of Trisha. How do you think Trisha would react to that? And I'm not trying to compare the two. I'm not trying to say like one is worse than the other or what, but I don't think there's anybody on this planet that Trisha dislikes more than David Dobrik. And I feel the same way about Ethan and Keemstar. So I feel like that would really, really hurt Trisha's feelings. I don't know, I just think it's uncool. It's not cool, dude. It's not cool. I am really curious to know what the hell Ethan's mom texted Moses though. Have you guys heard about that? Trisha was going off about Donna. 
Donna, I don't know if you guys are up to date, but Donna is Ethan's mom. And when they stopped doing the Frenemies podcast, they turned it into the Families podcast. And now his mom, Donna, is his co-host. And supposedly, according to Trisha, Ethan's mom texted Moses, which is Ela's brother, which is Ethan's wife. <laughs> Donna texted Moses like some crazy shit. And I'm talking about, I mean, I don't know. No one knows what Donna texted Moses, but it's not funny. But Trisha was going... Off. It was actually kind of shocking. It was really shocking. Trisha was like, Donna texted the most evil, vile, disgusting, most inhumane, terrible, gross, most incredible. Why would your mom text the most vile, disgusting? I can't even speak it right now. I cannot speak it right now because she puts she put blame and the weight of something so heavy on me that I have to wait this out now with it because of her. She's a vile. Gum. Apparently what Donna said was like the the worst thing anybody could ever say ever ever So I'm very curious to To see what she said, which by the way, I do agree that Donna probably shouldn't have gotten involved Donna shouldn't have tweeted um, That Trisha was a weasel although I don't agree with Trisha hanging out with Keemstar like I'm on the same boat But I think that Donna should have kept that to herself like I would have killed my mom If she did that <laughs> I bet mom Look what you did. So I agree with that, but I'm just like, what the hell could Donna have possibly said to Moses to get that reaction from t from Trisha? I don't know, it seemed, it seemed it seemed real bad. So, um, shout out to their family. Anyway guys, that's it. Honestly, I don't know what else to talk about. I would, oh my God, leave me your topics down below and then we can talk about those things in my next mukbang episode type of thing. What should we talk about next time? Let me know, but that completes this video guys. I'm getting a stomach ache. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>